All right, guys, today I'm gonna be trying out the Dango Designs gripper mount. They sent me this, so I'm gonna be checking it out, um, getting you guys some footage from that. You can see it's kind of like the Pro Shot. It just clamps on on the front here, um, just like that. I have it tethered on so it can't go flying, but I'm gonna kind of do a review of that. All right, guys, the first thing I noticed about the Dango Designs gripper mount, when you wear a Liat, it works, but you have like no movement. Like up is fine, of course, but down, you hit that right away. So you really lose a lot of your movement that you'd normally have looking down like that whole that whole area you lose all that so that's definitely uh, kind of sketchy I'm not sure how that'll be on the actual track and then of course if you're not wearing a liat this kind of stabs you like that actually hurts quite a bit hitting there I'm not wearing a chest protector right now and my chest protector doesn't cover that anyway but uh that could hurt pretty bad if you were to take that to the, the sternum then all right guys, so after riding with the Dango Designs gripper mount, I'm actually pretty impressed. Like I showed you earlier, um, this part hits the Liat, and if you're not wearing a Liat, it'll hit you in the chest right here, which would be really bad if you were to crash and hit or like that, but I thought it was gonna really limit my movement. I didn't even notice it after I got riding. I'm sure there's uh, people who are a lot pickier than myself who would pick up on that kind of stuff, but I honestly didn't, didn't notice that little part hanging down hitting my Liat, so um, that was cool. I was pretty happy with that, but pretty versatile. Um, I'll have to show you guys what else it can do. It's still tethered to my helmet, but you can actually push this in and change where the camera's angled and stuff. So you could grip this like onto um, a counter or onto your truck tailgate or something like that if you were trying to get some other angles. And then of course it's really cool because let's say if Tony here, he was riding today and he wanted to use the mount, all I'd have to do was unclip it from my helmet and give it to him and he could put it on his, his helmet. So um, I was kind of worried about how it would work with the Liat, but it works a lot better than I was expecting it to and just mounts right up like that. So I do have the adapter kit, which I will talk about a little bit more just to get the camera a little bit further away. I think if you just ran it straight on the orange part, you wouldn't be able to lean it back far enough than the camera to be aimed down. Because if you're thinking about it when you're riding, you're not going to be looking straight. You're probably going to be looking down some. So you want the camera angled back. If you have it down here, you're not going to be able to come back far enough. So I would recommend getting the adapter uh, pieces that Dango sells. But um, overall, pretty sweet. Um, can't wait to check out the footage with it. So this next clip I'm including in because this is just my GoPro using the Dango Designs mount with just a normal GoPro case, not a skeleton case, the one with the like two openings in the back. Um, me talking while riding and just how clearly you can actually hear me talking. You can hear the bike sounds and then you can hear me talking over it and I'm hardly talking louder than I am right now. It's just that the GoPro is so close to your mouth and you have of course the vents for breathing that the GoPro audio ca catches it pretty well. So the audio you're about to hear is just straight from the GoPro as I'm riding. Could have been bad. That was almost an Eli Tomek crash that thing here at uh, Lakewood. And it's always a fun one for me to try to throw whips on. I, I realize I don't throw huge whips or anything, but uh, they've definitely gotten better over the years. But uh, I just kind of like to sit down up the face and just throw the back end out. So I'm gonna try and do that again and maybe give, uh, give it an old look over to the rear fender. That might have been my best whip yet, ever. Since you can clip this on pretty much anywhere, you can get some pretty unique shots like this. Set it on there and then take your step up on the stand or, you know, you could unclip it and clip it on. Obviously this probably wouldn't work, but clip it on there. It's uh, very versatile how you can clip it pretty much anywhere you want to get a cool shot. Or you can just kind of set it up and it'll hold it just fine like that. So pretty sick what you can do with it. I like that it's a very versatile mount. 
And then thanks to this uh, swivel design here, if you have the clamp aimed a certain way, but you want the camera facing yourself right here, all you have to do is push this in and spin. There you go. Now the camera's aimed this way. Very, very handy how you can spin this all around that way. And this does do all four positions at 90 degrees. So straight towards us, that way, that way, back this way. I'm still filming my uh, evening with Dio right now, and I gotta say, this Dango Designs mount, I can do so much with. This is freaking so convenient. I can't get over it. I've been using it for like all my shots tonight. I'm really pumped with it. Just, you can really do, do everything with it, not just a helmet cam. Oh, nice. <laughs> this makes absolutely no practical sense, but you could do it if you want, I guess. So here is yet another use. You can actually hook it to a backpack. Right now I have it on an off-brand Camelback, but like, or a Camelback, whatever. If you were going on a hike or something, you can clip it right there and get some sweet video of your hike. Um, yeah, that's pretty dope. They sell mounts that actually do just this, but with this gripper mount, you can just hook it right there. And of course it would wobble some, as my fat jiggles, but really that's, that's pretty sweet right there. Now I do have one of these actual GoPro whatever clamps and it essentially does some of what the Dango Designs gripper mount does but it looks way uglier, the spring on it's a lot harder and of course it doesn't attach to a dirt bike helmet like um, the main part of this one. It doesn't have the swivel top like this one how you can spin that super easily. So I mean it does grip onto things but then you have to have another mount. It's nowhere near as convenient as the Dango Designs one. Plus, this one just looks way cool. All right, guys, and I'm gonna address the thing that people can't seem to wrap their minds around. They always say, can't you see that when you ride? It's the same height as this, and I want you guys to do an experiment. Right now, can you see your nose in front of you? Now that I said it, you probably can, but look down and you can see your nose. But when you look forward, you look right past your nose. You don't realize it. Same with this, and this is actually lower than my normal mount. You can see the very top of this if you look for it, but when you're riding, you're going to be looking far enough ahead, hopefully, but you're going to be looking right past it. Once you get on the bike, once you twist the throttle, you're not even going to notice it there. And honestly, I can barely even see the top of this right here. So people always ask, like, isn't that in your way? Doesn't it get annoying? Not at all. You don't even notice it. To be totally honest, in the end though, I am very, very impressed with this Dango Designs gripper mount. It does work well as a helmet camera mount. However, I don't think that's the main focus. That's just another um, weapon that it can be used as. You know, you can use it to clamp onto anything. You can share it with your friends. And then when you put it on the helmet, of course, you don't have something like the Velcro here that um, I have for my other helmet mount. But uh, it works great. One thing I did kind of touch on is you'd probably want the adapter pack because if you're thinking when you're riding, you're probably angled a little bit down. This is going to be aimed straight at your bars. So Dango Designs does have an adapter pack. The adapter pack comes with the uh, camera adapter and then two like extension arms for the GoPro mount. And that just allows the camera to get a little bit further up like so into something more like this. So of course now, when you're angled down, the camera's angled further forward, and it just gives it that extra room that the camera can tilt back. It's kind of hard to do this one-handed, but that the camera can tilt back and then uh, work a little bit better. So if you're like me and you have a lot of GoPro stuff, you might have one of these pieces laying around you can use, but if not, like I said, Dango Designs does offer this adapter pack for a few more bucks, and it just kind of increases your mounting options, lets you do a little bit more with your camera. So in the end, you guys, I am extremely pleased with this mount. I love how you can take it off, mount it anywhere you want, record whatever you want. There's so many different uses you can use it for. Oh, just put it anywhere, record what you want, spin it around, record that way instead. It is phenomenal. So I'm really impressed with this. You can pick yours up um, at dangodesigns.com. I'll have a link down in the description. Um, check them out. And uh, if you like one, go ahead and purchase it. So appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you want to see more videos, you can click here for a video that YouTube is going to recommend. Click over here to subscribe if you're not already. Hit that like button. And until next time, as always, guys, take it easy if it's easy. Take it twice. We'll talk to you later.